What's up everyone? This is John from Running Warehouse. And I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. And today we are gonna be taking a first look at the all new Hoka Cielo X1. Now, Hoka brought the heat over the past year in the super shoe world. We saw shoes like the Rocket X2, the Cielo Road, shoes that featured that Piba foam that we all love. And now we're seeing Hoka continue to up the ante. What we have is the Cielo X1, and this is gonna be their latest and greatest super shoe that's really using all of the innovation that they've learned and bringing it to the next level. Yeah, it seems like Hoka has really adopted a runner's mentality where we're not just satisfied once we hit that PR, we raise the bar, raise our goals, and that's what the Cielo X1 represents here. Yeah, and what makes a race day shoe, a super shoe so important is the midsole, and we're gonna see a very similar setup to what we saw in the Rocket X2. We've got a two layer Piba design. That top Piba foam is gonna be a little bit softer. That bottom Piba foam is slightly firmer, but still very soft. And then sandwiched between the two foams, you've got the new carbon fiber plate. And another thing to note is we've got those stack heights raised up even higher. We're right at that 40 millimeter World Athletics limit. So uh, I think we're gonna have an even more efficient shoe. Yeah, I got to test out the Cielo Road and that Piba midsole just feels really nice, soft, light, responsive. And to think of having that in a 40 millimeter stack height is very enticing. You talked about the carbon fiber plate. This is gonna be a unique design where it has winglets at the midfoot as well as the forefoot. You can see it exposed here in the shoe. And that's not just gonna help with the propulsion and getting you through your turnover quickly and efficiently, but it's also gonna help with that lateral stability. Yeah, you can see that carbon fiber plate poking out. You've got three midsole cutouts actually, one in the heel, in the midfoot, and in the forefoot. And the one thing that I think about when I think of midsole cutouts is stability. If you go back to some of those earlier versions of the Audios Pro, it had cutouts and the shoe just maybe didn't feel very stable. But I think what Hoka has going for it here is the wider net base and this new carbon plate that the winglet design really should help stabilize that foam. So I don't necessarily know if we're gonna have any stability issues with this shoe. Yeah, I don't see myself having any issues with the cutouts and stability. If anything, those cutouts are gonna save some weight. And speaking of weight, it looks like we might have a little bit extra weight in the outsole, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, the thick rubber coverage here uh, is reminiscent of something like the Metaspeed Sky Series from Asics. And here you're just gonna get a nice bit of coverage and it does have some uh, cutouts and holes here to maybe save on some weight. But I think when you're talking about a marathon racer, you are gonna want that durability, not just for race day, but also for training days. Yeah, you know, this shoe maybe does have just a little bit more outsole than some of the other super shoes on the market, but again, it'll help with that durability, it'll help with that traction, and it really isn't gonna add too much weight. Now, moving on up to the upper, this is really gonna wrap the shoe all together, and we've got a new knit design, and whenever I think of a knit upper, I always am hesitant, because with a knit shoe, it's always hit or miss. It either fits your foot really well, or maybe it just doesn't fit quite right. So it'll be interesting to see how this shoe feels on first try on. I am very optimistic and it does seem to have that support and lockdown needed for marathon racing. Yeah, I agree that knit was an interesting choice here where we see mostly mesh in a lot of the uh, racers these days, but I personally enjoy the softness of knit. Uh, the knit here uh, seems to be premium, especially in the tongue, very reminiscent of the A6 Gel Nimbus 25, which is my favorite upper uh, in a long time. So. I'd be curious to see if it's gonna be maybe too warm over the length of a marathon, but that comfort that you get um, should feel pretty good. So overall, the Hoka Cielo X1 really is taking the Hoka Super Shoes to the next level. Everything from foams, new plates, even unique geometry design. You've got this crazy banana rocker that's really gonna provide a unique experience. Hoka's doing everything that they can to innovate in this space and deliver a shoe that's gonna help perform on race day. If you're looking to get the Hoka Cielo X1 on your own feet, you can find it in February 2024 here at Running Warehouse.